So Mitt Romney wrote an article in The Atlantic saying that America is in denial. The problem is, I think Mitt Romney's in denial. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So the sub-headline in this article in The Atlantic is Too Many Americans Are Blithely Dismissing Threats That Could Prove Cataclysmic by Mitt Romney. Some of the issues he raised that were just blithely dismissing include things like as inflation mounts and the national debt balloons, progressive politicians vote for ever more spending. As the ice cap melts and record temperatures make the evening news, we figure that buying a Prius and recycling the boxes from our daily Amazon deliveries will suffice. When the TV news outlets broadcast video after video of people illegally crossing the nation's southern border, many of us change the channel. And when a renowned conservative former federal appellate judge testifies that we are already in a war for our democracy and that January 6, 2021 was a genuine constitutional crisis, MAGA loyalists snicker that he speaks slowly and celebrate that most people aren't watching. Well, let's visit each one of these concerns raised by Mitt Romney in turn. For starters, let's consolidate two of them. As we watch the reservoirs and lakes of the West go dry, we keep watering our lawns, soaking our golf courses, and growing water thirsty crops. And as the ice caps melt and record temperatures make the evening news, we figure that buying a Prius and recycling the boxes from our daily Amazon deliveries will suffice. Now let's be clear about the fact that both those are basically talking about the same thing. They're talking about global warming here. Do I really need to talk about which party has been the one blocking any action to address global warming? I mean, Republicans to the person stood against legislation that would have addressed climate change, helping doom it when, of course, we have as one of the Democrats, Mitt Romney, a cold baron. Continuing through this list, as inflation mounts and the national debt balloons, progressive politicians vote for ever more spending. And yet, and yet, the federal deficit increased under Donald Trump with his tax giveaway to the wealthy, as well as really runaway spending. And the deficit has been going down under President Biden. And in fact, the last time we had a federal surplus was under Democrat Bill Clinton. And in fact, the pattern is pretty clear that when Republicans are in office, the deficit goes up. And when Democrats are in office, the deficit goes down. So much for progressive politicians voting to bankrupt us. And need I visit the January 6th insurrection and the Republican war on democracy? No, here's the problem with Mitt Romney's column. Is there is one party who's trying to address these problems, and there's one party who's fighting against it every step of the way. There's an old saying in AA that the first way to address a problem is to acknowledge it. And it's about time that Mitt Romney acknowledges the problem. The problem is not that people are simply in denial. The problem is that you have one party fighting against addressing the problems that our nation has. And that party is the Republican Party. The last paragraph of the article reads as follows. I hope for a president who can rise above the din to unite us behind the truth. Several contenders with experience and smart stand in the wings. We intently watch to see if they also possess the requisite character and ability to bring the nation together in confronting our common reality. While we wait, leadership must come from fathers and mothers, teachers and nurses, priests and rabbis, businessmen and businesswomen, journalists and pundits. That will require us all to rise above ourselves, above our grievances and resentments, and grasp the mantle of leadership our country so badly needs. Well, I think it's pretty clear that President Biden has tried very hard to reach across the aisle. And I'll point to an even better example here, and more relevant specifically to Senator Mitt Romney. And that would be Barack Obama. When Barack Obama was president, he made it clear that he wanted to unify our country. And yet, how can we forget the famous words from Mitch McConnell that his goal was to make Barack Obama a one-term president? Well, as it turns out, Mitt Romney engaged in that process too. Both of them playing upon racist tropes that undermines the Obama administration, encouraged the Tea Party to their victory in 2010, and ultimately led to the election of Donald Trump in 2016. No, the problem we have is not one of having a president who can rise above the din of partisanship. 
The problem that we have is a lack of personal responsibility among Republicans, starting with Mitt Romney. Until responsible Republicans acknowledge the fact that the Republican Party is irretrievably broken and that the only way to resolve this is to defeat it and grind it into the mud and to change the system in the process, then we might have a chance of trying to create a more reasonable, responsible political discourse. To be fair, there are some Republicans who have stepped up and taken their responsibility seriously. Those include people like Joe Walsh and Max Boot and Jennifer Rubin and Bill Kristol and the members of the Lincoln Project, to name a few. But this article by Mitt Romney just demonstrates everything that is wrong with Mitt Romney. And what that is, is the elevation of rhetoric and pointless words over real commitment and action. His type of Republican, despite their preening, are just as responsible for the current state of our country as the ones who are the full-fledged mega true believers. Well, why don't you check out this video over here where I discuss who really is the party of fiscal responsibility. So much for Mitt Romney's claim that it's the progressives who keep running us deeper and deeper into debt. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.